What's going on guys and welcome back to some more Super Mario RPG in the last part we uh Finished the six doors of hell and actually got the weapons we wanted we got the well We got the super slap and we got the star gun. We got the song symbol drill claw We got through the first four doors and the first four doors contained the weapons we needed I'll go back and show the six the remaining two doors later, but um Actually a boss time believe it or not Was, was it Koopa? Is that what you went off to? Hold on, I turned the game audio up. This is Smithy's Castle. No trespassers allowed. Anyway, so this is Wizard Koopa. Now, it's actually a pretty easy boss, and Mario's already doing like 600 damage, but um, Peach is doing 300 damage, and let's Gino boost Mario so he does even more damage, but um, we sh I don't remember exactly if we should get some level ups or not, but we sh I don't know exactly what they're. Oh, actually, my gosh, bro, but um. I think if he tur his HP turns low, he'll also- Oh, wait, he doesn't even turn blue, but, um... Yeah, uh, he doesn't even turn blue. Anyway, so no level up, unfortunately. Oh yeah, he does turn blue after you beat him, but, um... Wizakoopa! Hmm, where am I? Bowser, hello, how have you been? I made it, but somehow it seems like I've been brainwashed or something. I can't seem to remember anything. Have I done something wrong? Uh, don't worry about it. Let's just push it behind us. It's great running a loyal minion like you. I'm glad it looks like some tough new minions now. My magic can still help you. Watch this! This magic treasure box will never run out of coins. Just keep on hitting it. So, uh, I'll be here if you need me. Come by when you need me. Well, um... So, uh, yeah, uh, he wasn't lying, the summer runs out. So we have 870 coins. If we go here, however, Croc, there's Croco again. You still hanging around or you want more items? Tell us I'm in a good mood, just remember. I can't always become your rescuer, you know. If there's anything more you need, best to buy it now. So, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna buy the Prince Pants for Mallow, the Star Cape for Geno, and, uh, the Heel Shell for Bowser, and the Royal Dress for Peach. So, uh, however, we're gonna do a, some switcheroos. We're gonna give Peach the, uh, lazy shell and the, uh, we're gonna give, uh, you know, we're gonna give Peach about the lazy shell and the Jinx belt. We're gonna give, uh, Gina the safety ring. I think that should be good, but, um, see ya, pal. We're actually almost at the end of Bowser's Castle. I might not. I think it, the, the fact that the reason I cut it off last time is because well, we we were kind of going off for too long. But um, new enemy, by the way. Well, it's the same enemy we saw earlier, but uh, it's the big blast is from earlier. But um, this is the first time we're kind of fighting in regular form, though. But um, yeah, basically, yeah, that's the star gun. It's basically it's Gino's strongest weapon in the normal game. And we got a level up, and uh, Mallow's level 21. Again, we'll do uh, magic, and uh, Bowser's level 21. Let's go physical. So, uh, yeah, who else is close to level up? Some. Um, Peach is close. I'd say Peach is the only one close to a level up, but. Um... Anyway, so, now we got to the end. This Remember this room? In the very beginning of the game? Seems like a distant memory. <laughs> There's the chandeliers from earlier. Ah, so you're the notorious Mario. I'm impressed you made it this far. I didn't think you could. Oh, feisty little fella. But this is the end of the line. Now you gotta deal with me and guard. So, get a load of this guy's name, by the way. Yeah, his name's Boomer. Heard a lot of the jokes you want about the baby boomers, but uh, yeah, that's what they decided to name this boss, and I always found that kind of funny, let's just say, but uh, he also has a uh, move that will insta kill party members. I we should have resistance because Gino has the safety ring, he has the lazy shell armor, but um, 
Dino boost. Gino boost yourself. He's gonna be a defensive tank for now on. Yeah, Skewer is an instant kill, but uh, because we have the uh, safety ring, it's not gonna affect us. Mario's doing nearly 500 damage. I think Gino uh, is gonna do nearly 300. He's gonna turn blue when he's about to be weak. That means he's more vulnerable, but um. Even Peach is doing over 200 damage, and she's actually dead. Oh, this is absurd. I can't be defeated by them. I won't let this happen. I won't fall in battle. Yeah. Uh, uh. I have an attack. I don't need your sympathy. I am a soldier. I am prepared to go. You dive, Chandelier. Youch. See you later, kids. Boomer, pro boomer. But not to worry, a little fall isn't gonna hurt you. Alright, Mario, lead to the top. We must hurry to the appointed place. Hang on tight. And away we go. I love this cutscene, by the way. You're getting the hang of it? Increasing speed. Stop the top floor. Please pass your seatbelts in. Wait a sec. There are no seatbelts. And, uh, yeah, so of course you know level up side of that, but, um, this is Sword that attacked Bowser's castle at the very beginning of the game, the Exor. So, um, your goal is that Exor itself is immune to anything, except you have to take either his right eye, his left eye, or his mouth. Each of these body parts are going to have different moves, but I find the right eye to be my favorite to take out, so, um... Let's uh, Gino boost Mario. If you also, there's a trick also, if you uh, end this, you can end this fight instantly if you take one of the eyes in Gino Worlds. I can't get it to work in this version. I get it to work in the Super Nintendo version, but not this. Uh, Exor character. Yeah, just take it one of the eyes and start taking out Exor. Mario's doing over 600 damage, and Gino, Gino boost yourself. And, uh, Peach, you're doing over 100 damage. Not bad for the lazy shell armor, but, uh, Mario's doing close to 700 damage, but, um... He's almost dead, actually, um... I don't think he has that much HP, but, um... He's doing over 134, and he's actually down! I love this next cutscene, by the way. And we're in Weapon World. Do you know what this leads to? It looks like Ed source to contact between two worlds and other worlds. If we follow this road, we'll find Smithy. So what's keeping us? Hang on. Hey, I only joined so I could get my castle back. I'm not going to be dragged along in this stupid hunt. I'm going to, my, I'm going to gather my minions to go to my castle. And you, Mario, you were the official mayor of Bowser's minions to help the repairs. Bowser, you're completely missing the point. Oh, I ought to rip your stuffing out. Now think about it, Bowser. Exor connects the two worlds, right? Even though we defeated Exor, there will be other weapon beasts to come through in their connection. You enter the point of the world and show up the weapons will pa pass through your castle. Is that what you want? Uh, well, um, more weapon things come to take over my castle. What about my privacy? Yo, yeah, this isn't good at all. In fact, this stinks. I can't just be cowed with these nim- nim- oops. 
I've got an image to keep up. I've got it. No one insults Bowser with me and gets away with it. I've got a bone to pick with this smithy guy. Come on, Mario. Let's go team last one. It looks like we can end this one. Let's go. Now, I've thought of how, what my uh, team lineup is going to be for the rest of the game. I think Bowser and Gino are going to be my uh, team for the rest of the game because... Bowser's trying to get his castle back, and Gino's trying to get fix the Star Road. So the only problem is I don't have much of anything that can heal, but, uh... I don't know, it's feel pro- I just, I just find it appropriate. Like, Bowser's trying to get his castle back, Gino's trying to fix the Star Road, so... If there's anyone I want to use at this part of the game, it's these two. By the way, new enemy. Oh, two new enemies. These are the, uh, Glum Reachers, which... We've already seen them, but they're like the, uh... Like the things in Bowser, they're like the uh, Grim Reaper, they're like the Reapers have only stronger, but um, Reapers have only stronger. But, um, this is the Drill Claw. Um, Bowser's doing over 200 damage, also, but um, oh, a level up actually, and uh, just level 22, and let's get that HP up. Guys, let's just say. The reason I've been increasing the character's most dominant stats is because it's going to help a lot in the post-game. Also, new enemy. Quite a special enemy, that's actually, believe it or not, but, uh... We take it out one hit and it's a special enemy, but, uh... Yeah, those things are actually the weaker enemies. They give a lot of XP, though, um... Oh, yeah, I don't even need to cut this, I'll just... Kill like that. But, yeah, there's going to be... Not falling down, but there's gonna be a couple of boss fights, and um. I think this will be the second to last part in the playthrough, the normal playthrough. I am gonna cover the post game, I will promise. It's uh. The post game's only exclusive to the remake, but I am gonna cover the post game. Okay, but um. By the way, if you go here, we get the Ultra Hammer. It's Mario's best weapon, aside from the Lazy Shell, however, I don't see much need for the Ultra Hammer if you already have the Lazy Shell, so I wouldn't just, I would, I, maybe if you never got the Lazy Shell, I'll recommend equipping it, but either way, no. Anyways, this is the first of the bosses in this area. It's Mario. It's Mario. How did he get here? We better do something. Anyway, so this is the, uh, this is the clock, and, uh, I recommend taking out the, uh, taking out the bells first, and then take out the clock normally. Of course, we're gonna Gino boost everyone, but, uh, I was gonna return to damage, but, um, it's one o'clock, time for an ice storm. Thank you. Gino. Not the same thing with protecting inside. I could be wrong. I might be only thinking of the Super Nintendo version. And that's one of the clocks, that's one of the bells down, but, um, unfortunately, though, uh, I don't have much in terms of healing, so, it's the only problem is I'm not using the Princess or Mallow, or even, but, um, yeah, Gino boost Bowser. Bowser's an offensive tank, so we need to get him up, we need to get, have him up some defense, at least. Bowser's doing nearly 300 damage. Mario's doing 600, and, uh, now I'll just take out these things. The main clock. Bowser's doing over almost 400 damage. So yeah, when you get three offensive tanks, oh shit. Bowser's asleep, but Mario and Gino think left. Gino's almost dead though, but um. Clock's down. Gino's actually almost a level up, but um. Now that's the first of the bosses down. Way through Weapon World, so this is essentially the last area in the game. At least the last area in the normal game. I guess I'll show off new enemies. These, remember these guys? These are like the Axum Rangers. They're essentially new variants of the Axum Rangers. We got a Lucky Jewel as well, but um. Well, XP. Where's Yoshi? Let's find him. It's gonna be right. You know, 
is actually almost a level up. And, uh... I don't need to cut this. Just one enemy. We can take out one hit. Mario does almost 800 damage with the lazy shell. Because of what we have equipped with him. But, um... And, uh... New enemies, uh... These are, these are the Poundettes. I'm taking these out first because these are special enemies, but, um... We get a once again jewel. Nice. But, um... We get a defense up. A little too late, though, because we won the battle, but, um... Alright, Gino's almost a level up. And we can show these new enemies. These are, um... Oh, these are Pupox! You're, they're actually like the ones in uh, Booster Tower, only stronger. And Gino has resistance, so... There we go. There we go! Gino level up, and um... You know, it's level 22, and we'll go offense. And another new enemy is, remember this guy? This is, this is Clay Morton or Mac. And basically, it's eventually a new version. A lot of the enemies you're gonna hear are essentially recycled enemies because Smithy's essentially building new weapons. Uh, and, uh, Though everyone else is uh, getting close to a level up, but um, be careful not to get hit by those uh, arrows, by the way. But uh, oh, new another new enemy. A lot of new enemies in this area, but uh, these are the high boo. They're like the boo is only stronger, and I missed the attack. But um, <laughs> yeah, let's just uh, kill this guy. Not kill this guy. Fire saber. Here we go. Dead. Never was also a level up, but um, for Royal Seraph that will help greatly. Uh, it's, um. Oh, we don't even need to get this. A lot of battles we don't even need to cut because we just need to take on enemy as is. Not if we keep missing though. Die! There we go. Mario's almost a little level up, but, um... This, unfortunately, might be the last level up we see in the normal game. So, a new enemy, by the way. This is, uh, essentially a, uh... I always forget this guy's name, but, uh, it's essentially the same creature we fought... Same boss we fought in the, uh, forest. So, uh, the forest maze. So, yeah. Thankfully, A is not disabled, so we're gonna take him out like that. Oh, almost will level up anyway. So um, uh, dodge these enemies. Anyway, this one took longer to kill because it was a special enemy, but we get a level up out of this. Anyway, so, uh... Ooh, and more, some three level ups. And Peach is also almost a level up, but, um... Mario's level 23, again, physical, and, uh... Mallow's level 22, special, magic. Uh... Mallow's level 22, physical. Yeah, that should be, uh, it for, uh... This is this this is, this is also where the second last boss. Actually, no, new enemy. Another reused boss that Smitty's designing, but uh, after this is gonna be a boss. So um, and he's down. I think we get, all, I think we get even another another level of Peach, but I'm not sure. Peach does get a level up anyway, so um. Peach is level 23, and, uh, both magic. I've maxed out all the HP I can with Peach, so, uh, 
My goal was to get Peach to over 200 HP, so, um... Mwee Behold, they've taken the bait! Hee I guess I can spare a few minutes, maybe we'd like to play. Anyways, these are Cloaker and Domino. They're like Night Guy and Great Guy, all, Knife Guy and Great Guy, only stronger, but uh, we're gonna Geo Boost Mario. Was, uh, yeah, why don't you take one of them out? Um, this is tougher than I thought. I like where this is going. Put your dukes up. Anyway, so this is going to be the bad adder. So you can basically take it out, but it only disables it. So just attack, uh, just attack Loker normally. And uh, we're going to team with Bowser. Oh, yeah. Poison. Okay, Miss Bowser. And... Oh, we do have to take out the Bad Adder. I always forget which one I have to, you have to take out. Um, that really just disables the two. I think you have to do have to take out both of them. Alright, there we go. Alright. Do it. Maybe not, actually. There we go. And that's about it for our weapon world. So, um... Now, next time on Super Mario RPG... Tackle the Factory. Grand Finale. See you guys then.